removed from the Jarrett's interrogation and the Jarrett's investigation of all the females associated with TNA, Jeff and Karen have apparently come to the conclusion that it's TNA knockout Velvet Sky, who is the one who's been hired by Karen's ex-husband, Kurt Angle, to take Karen out. Karen has just been obsessed with this, trying to figure this out. Who Kurt has, who's the, uh, not a mistress per se, for, for Kurt Angle, I mean, Karen, Jarrett, she has been obsessed. A little paranoia going on. She feels like Kurt Angle has a hit out on her. She's sure that Velvet Sky is Ms. Angle. A uh, business relationship only, of course. Queen of the Mountain. Velvet, get your skanky little wannabe knockout women's championship ass out here now! We're starting this out smooth. Love loss here between these two ladies. You know, Taz, I've got to admit, after piecing together the clues from Kurt Angle, I wouldn't have drawn the conclusion that Velvet Sky was hired by Kurt to take out Karen Jarrett. But you'll recall it was Velvet who took a shot at Karen last week before slapping Jeff right in the face. I think Velvet's uh, slap that was intended for Karen would have hit her, but uh, Karen's a uh, hubby. She him Big Daddy, she calls Jeff. That's what uh, Karen calls her husband. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Why we saw Big Dummy. How's that? Anyway, ah, oh, again, no pigeons. I am begging. Well, Velvet, honey, the mystery is over. Oh, yeah, and I knew it all along. I. Keep it up, girl. Keep it up. I knew it all along. It was right there for everybody to see. That's right. Every girl, almost every girl in that knockouts locker room has been a champion. From Mickey to Tara, Angelina to Madison, except you. <laughs> except you, Velvet. And why, Velvet, why is that that you continue to be passed over? Or should I say, walked over? Because from what I hear, you've been laying down, you've been laying down quite a bit. So. Quite a bit. So, you had the idea. I'll tie myself to a thoroughbred. I'll tie myself to Kurt Angle, and I'll become a thoroughbred too. Oh yeah. You hitched yourself to his wagon, thinking, oh, everyone's gonna notice me now. Didn't you? Didn't you, Velvet? But you know what? That's not gonna happen. Now Kurt thinks he's gonna use your relationship to threaten me? What relationship? What relationship? That's not gonna happen. Honey, tonight, that's all gonna come to a screeching halt. Speaking of halts, don't touch me. You know, Karen, I enjoy listening to myself talk so much that I'm going to tell you one more time what I already told you last week. You ready for it? You ready? Brace yourself. Brace yourself. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. I have no idea what you're talking about, Karen. No, I think do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Let's get real, Karen. The only thing Kurt Angle and I have shared over the past four years is conversation and conversation only. There's no way I would ever, ever sink so low oh, yeah. as to oh. sleep with someone to get ahead here. You are right about one thing and one thing only. I've never been TNA Knockouts Champion. That's right. You haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. For four years, I sat back and watched everyone else here earn their spot. And you know what? 
That's totally fine with me. I have no problem waiting my turn. And now that Angelina and myself are BFFs no more, there's a goal that I've had my sights set on for quite some time, Karen. Yeah, and I, and, I and that's to become the TNA Knockouts Champion. Dig it! If you'll excuse me, you and your big daddy, I have some important business to tend to that does not involve you. Don't touch me. Oh, yeah. Don't you ever Don't touch me. Don't walk away from me. Don't and you what, ever. What business would that be, Velvet? What business would that be? Taking care of Kurt's needs, giving him a massage, maybe a nasty little Kurt, lap dance. Maybe a nasty little lap dance. Huh? Lap oh, dance. Yeah, you want to talk about lap sweat? dancing? Honey, sweetheart, you are not going to fool me. I was fooled by my ex-husband for 10 years. But you know what? Where are you? Poor me. That's right. Hide but behind you know the new what? One. You know what? I'm smart to it now. And Big Daddy, this sexy hunk of a man standing next to me, he knows people. He knows people. He knows people in high places. And he's arranged for there to be a handicap match here this evening. Oh, and you know who right? includes? You know who it includes? Who's that, Karen? Who's that, Karen? Who's that? Who? Winner. Tell me. Winner. And Angelina versus Y O U. And you know what? You know what? When they're done with you, you're not going to be in any shape to be a threat to me. You think you scare me? You think. Look who's coming, Falcon! Well, Immortal, they've stacked the deck again. Thanks to the Jarrett's association, the Jarrett's relationship with Hulk Hogan, Velvet Sky, you're in trouble. A little scared, are you backing up? Here come our two opponents, Velvet's former best friend, tag partner, Angelina Love, and the very controlling Winter. Well, obviously, Angelina, we've been over this. She's, she's in a sedated uh, state. We got right into it. We saw what Winter was doing earlier. What's up, uh, Angelina? She's just weird, man. Winner? Winner? You give her whatever it is that you give her, and you and Angelina take Velvet out. <laughs> this is the man who started this mystery several weeks ago. Oh, wait, is there any more women that uh, Jeff can hide behind? Here comes uh, Kurt Angle. Remember, Angle said he wouldn't lay a hand on his ex-wife. He wouldn't lay a finger on the mother of his children. Oh, but he has someone who would. Is that Velvet Sky? Uh, I'm still trying to get over Jeff Jarrett. Nine, three knockouts. Well, two and his wife. Relax, Jeff, I come in peace. Listen, I promised the network that I wouldn't do anything that I would regret before the main event match tonight. So you can relax. Okay, now the network representative that I spoke to just recently, who will be here next week, has actually trumped Mr. Hogan and Mr. Bischoff tonight. So Karen, you will have your handicap match tonight, but it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a mixed tag handicap match, which means I will be in Velvet's corner. And you, Big Daddy, are going to be in their corner. And Karen, you're going to get what you want, and I'm going to get what I want, and that's your husband's ass on a silver platter tonight. Oh, it's real! It's damn real. Oh, oh, Karen, Karen, sweetheart. One more thing before you trolley on to the back. I want to personally invite you to join your husband at ringside tonight for the main event. Hold on. 
because when I'm done with Morticia and her little zombie get up right here, I'm coming straight for you no, and not. I'm going to beat your ass. No. put you over my knee and do exactly what your mommy should have done to you a long time ago, bitch! Oh my! No, Network representative may not be here until next week, but that individual, whoever it is, is having a major impact tonight. The mixed handicap match is set, and the Network rep just won up Hogan and Bischoff.